Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, this is love. Welcome to <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Life with Love. I'm Love. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to another Blogmas video slash fragments. So Blogmas Fragments video for 2021. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, hi, I am Love. Over here on this channel, we talk all things lifestyle, i.e. fragrance, fashion, and food. Not so much so food, but coming in 2022. If you guys um, find that interesting and you look, and I look like I might be somebody that you want to hang out with, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification, and automatically give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It helps my channel grow, and um, I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers, so we can do it. Anyway, <laughs> I am back with part two of a two-part video, which is my fragrance or my scent of the month, so my fragrance of the month. So this is my scent of the month and I got this. So for 2022, we're moving on with two scents of the month. And so we're starting it off, of course, for Blogmas slash Fragmas. What do we have today? So what I ordered was a Joe Malone. And I ordered it for two reasons. Number one, I just wanted to complete my Joe Malone um, collection for the year. And I'm going to do a full like Joe Malone collection video for, uh, for Vlogmas. So that is coming up soon. But I wanted to give a, a specific notice to she. And um, I also have one more Joe Malone that I'm going to do a video for before I complete the collection. So either the collection video will be in Vlogmas or will be in January. It's going to be one of those two. Anyway, um, I wanted to try a fragrance I had not tried before. I'd heard some reviews about and I wanted to do it with you. So this is a first impressions. This is my first take on the fragrance. And to me, I think that these videos get the best comments because it is literally what you I'm, I'm recording what you see what you get. All right. So let's get into the fragrance. I have a 10 mil decant and this is Jo Malone's Red Roses. Red Roses Cologne. So here we go. I can tell you right now from just sniffing this, this is strong. This is a strong rose fragrance. All right, let's see. Let's see how long she's gonna stick around. And let's keep my mouth closed while I spray because now it is all in my mouth like I bit a, <laughs> a bit into a rose. Oh, this is strong. I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it, y'all. Guys, this is strong. This is strong. This smells like a floral scent that has strong green notes. The rose in here is very, very strong and it smells... The green notes in here are strong. I almost feel like I'm going to have an allergy attack with this one. This is going to take some getting used to. I can tell you right now, had I blind brought this and brought a bottle, we'd be having a different conversation. So glad I have a decant of 10 mils, which is a great way to start a fragrance. But, or to test a fragrance, try a fragrance, see how you like it. I'm going to have to spend some time with this. I can tell you this right now. It is super duper duper strong. We got to spend some time with this one. I almost feel like... This is definitely a spring summer scent. I cannot see me wearing this in the winter because it's so floral. Let's see, let's see what it says. Because when I say I know nothing about the scent, literally I know nothing about the scent. So let's pull up what's in the juice and go from there. Yeah, it is so stuck in my nose. This is definitely a spring. This is more so a spring scent than a summer scent. Like I can see this being, like if you wanna change it up and do something very strong and potent for spring, this would be, this is really, really strong. I'm surprised that this is in a clear bottle. So apparently this is in a clear bottle. It is a floral green fragrance. I just said that it's a really strong floral. It's almost super strong. I can't even tell you how to tone this down. It's so strong. Um, okay, let me get my nose a minute. First of all, this was launched in 20... Let me find out you can say that right. This was launched in 2001. Sis, we are 20 years old in this fragrance. So we have pulled up an oldie but goodie with 20 years. I, I just had no idea. I was like, let me try it. I wonder how much this costs because baby, for 20 years, if you can still get $125 from me for 20 years, then you are doing the damn thing. 
All right, so the top notes are lemon and mint. I can't even tell you where that's coming from. I can smell the mint a little bit. The middle book notes are Bulgarian rose and violet leaf. And then the base notes are beeswax. Like, what the fuck? Yo, I can't even, I can't even wrap my mind around the components. The ingredients, the components. I'm sorry. And see, this is why I like doing first impressions. Because number one, you get to see, like, no must, no fuss. This is exactly how I feel about it. It's so super strong and specific. I can't even tell you who it's for. Like... If I gave this to my grandmother, she would not even reach for this a lot. This is like playing with the scent, trying to create something that is so diff individualistic and different and unique that you just come out with this fragrance. I feel like that's what this is. Like, there is no, there's no, what, I wonder what the thought process was behind this. This is just really fucking strong. Woo, I just want to see how much it is. And I'd be curious to see. I'm just going to look on Fragantica and just see what they say. I just want to, I just opened it up. I, I, I really have to just see. Is there a price point? Okay, someone said, such a realistic, freshly picked rose smell. Quite fresh and a little spicy. I can definitely smell the lemon and the mint at the start, but then all I smell is pure rose. I got no lemon. I can smell the mint faintly, but no lemon. And it needed a little bit of lemon because that rose came through and whipped everybody's ass. Like, it is so super duper strong. <sighs> the rose came through and just knocked everybody out. Like, she came for the attention. She understood the assignment and she took it. That's what the rose did. Somebody else says, very pleasant rose smell. Lasted the, the next day on my shirt when I was sorting through the laundry. And then someone else said, this is the best realistic rose. So... If this is what a realistic rose fragrance is like, we have been duped. I'm not sure I want a realistic rose in the future. Jesus. I got to spend some time with this one. I will not say yay, nay, bye, kill it. I won't say any of that. What I will tell you is that I will wrap around and have this conversation again, maybe in a video in a few months that says fragrances I had to spend some time with because there's a few. This is definitely one of them. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm not going to smell it no more. I'm not going to do it. And it's all up in my nose and around. I guess I was just wondering where the price point. Oh, it looks like it's still at the 129 range. The 50 mils. No, that's not even 50 mils. Like, what? So, it looks like you can get it for as low as $75, perhaps. And the larger bottle is $130, $150. You will not get $150 for me from this strong rose fragrance. I, and I know Joe Malone is not... A US-based brand, but oh my god. All right, that's it. That is my first impressions for this Jill Malone. Ro what is it? Red roses? Baby. Red roses. Okay. You would have to be the guy from the Hunger Games to wear this every day. This is what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the character, the president. I will not mention names, but the president won the Hunger Games. That's what it reminds me of. All right, that's it. That is Red Roses by Joe Malone. That is my take on it. Please give me some information in the comment section. If you love it, like it, feel some kind of way about it. I really want to know. That is my first impressions. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye, guys.